cemetery or graveyard rituals have to be approached with respect. When you're going into these places, you can't just go there empty handed and expect to receive service from certain entities that exist in these places. If you're seeking the assistance of someone, you have to understand as well is that they don't work for free. You got to know what they want. Some spirits may want money. Some spirits may want alcohol. It all depends on the spirit. Now, if you give the spirit what they don't want, let me just say this, they can have an attitude. And when they have an attitude, they can, <laughs> let's just say this, they can let you know that they're not pleased with what you've given them or laid as an offering to them. Another thing a person has to be aware of is taking things that don't belong to you, such as dirt, such as things left for people's relatives who've passed on. There's a thing, I don't know if it's prevalent in the US, but grave robbing is something that's very big in my culture. When it boils down to things left for the deceased, they belong to the spirit. They're not for us. And not only that, you got to think about the people who left that stuff behind. If they left a bouquet of flowers on a relative's grave, you can't go over there and take flowers from that. Now you're asking for what you get. There's some people who have taken things from graveyards and or cemeteries and didn't pay for it and they find that these spirits come back to haunt them. Yes, spirits do haunt. When you take things that don't belong to, to you, you find that these spirits come and show you their disapproval. So when you go to cemeteries or graveyards, you got to show respect. 